capital gains, something you make money on investments, real estate, art, stocks, and bonds. They're usually taxed at a lower rate than your average income tax here in Hawaii. Well, a new proposal would tax these investments like any other wages. Sam Spangler has a story that's new at 9. Right now in Hawaii, profits made from selling real estate and cashing out stock market investments are taxed at a maximum of 7.5%. That's below the maximum of 11% that your wages can be taxed. One of the bill's authors says that's a loophole for wealthy people to avoid tax rates that working families pay. The capital gains tax break is a break specifically for wealthy individuals. It is for people who are making over half a million dollars a year and using that surplus money to in, invest in, in more art, to invest in more uh, real estate, to take away the access to housing and drive up our housing costs. But opponents say the rate hike will hurt investment. This bill would be devastating to savings and investment in our state. It would basically increase the capital gains tax rate to 11% up from 7.25%. That's a 50% tax hike. And that's going to affect a lot of people who are trying to save in Hawaii. Representative Capella says the increased rate could generate 90 to 130 million dollars each year in tax revenue for the state. I would love to see that pay for a child tax credit, which would cost our state close to about 80 million dollars a year, right? To make sure that similar to what the federal government did and joining the 13 other states who have already done this, um, ensuring that families are getting that monthly payment to help pay for whatever it may be, whether it's extracurricular programs for your kids, your football ballet or dance lessons, or it's paying for food and electricity. Kent says the state doesn't need more revenue. The state doesn't need the money. I mean, we, we have a $2.6 billion surplus. This is like one of the biggest surpluses that Hawaii has ever had. And that's going to grow to $10 billion in just a few years. So uh, we don't need the money. The bill was introduced and passed its first reading. We'll have a link to it on our website, khon2.com. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.